Brian, uh, good evening. You have a couple of injured players back in the squad. Uh, Jimenez, Bailo, uh, Timber Lotomba. Uh, how, how many of them can play tomorrow or can play a part in the game? They can all play. From the beginning? Uh, some of them, yes. And will you also do that after a couple of them missed months of training? Of That's a possibility, yes. Yeah. Otherwise they would not be here. And how will you deal with the goalkeeping situation? Because Bailo was the first choice, then he got injured again. Uh, Van Alroy to play a couple of games in a row. Who is your first goalie tomorrow? Yeah, that's you have to wait and see until until kickoff uh, tomorrow. It's um, it's a decision like uh, like any of the other ones in uh, in the team. So um, I'm happy that uh, that Justin is on his way back as well, uh, just like the rest of the boys who has uh, has been out for for a period. So. We'll take it uh, day by day and, and, and game by game and, and definitely again, as I say a couple of times, there will definitely be a goalkeeper in uh, in between the two uh, two posts tomorrow. Manchester City lost five in a row. Uh, they played Tottenham a couple of days ago at home, lost 0-4. Uh, have you watched that game and what can you learn about the, the, the period they are in now and how can that benefit Feyenoord tomorrow? We, we watched a lot of games. Um, and yeah, I think first of all, it's uh, it's still a very good team. They they got some really good players. Uh, for me, it's still the best team in the, in the world. They uh, they have high quality all over. Um, I think uh, they were also a little bit unlucky against uh, Tottenham. I think before the first uh, goal for, for Tottenham, then um, they had a couple of big chances. Um, they also created a really high xG uh, and uh, was not able to produce a goal that, uh, which they normally do. And then I think uh, Spurs, they, they punished them big time on some transitions. Uh, so that's definitely also a weapon for, for us. We, um, we know we have to play a perfect game over here, uh, defensively uh, especially, uh, as an individual, but also as a team. And then we need to take the moments uh, on the ball when we, uh, when we can. Then we need to be um, cool in knowing when to take the transitions and when to try to keep possession a bit to take out some of the speed of the game uh, as well. So it's 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 not going to be an easy game, even though, as you said, they lost five in a row. It's uh, it's it's going to be difficult. Kelvin Stengs is well in Rotterdam achtergebleven. Is that uit voorzorg? Yeah. Now we we already planned this bef before the the game against Herenveen. Uh, you played then here uh, by Manchester City. Can I so imagine that when the loting bekend werd that it misschien wel the zwaarste tegenstander zou worden, maar voor zou zijn, maar zijn jullie toch met wat meer zelfvertrouwen afgereisd inderdaad? Door wat er gezegd wordt dat ze niet in hun beste fase zijn. Well, I think we always try to travel with uh, with confidence, uh, no matter where we play. But uh, I, it, it is still a tough game. Uh, also now with the schedule they had and with the with the results they had, it's 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 the same challenge for us. Um, it, it is difficult. Uh, high quality players all over. Uh, so yeah, I don't think anything has changed. Um, it is still up to us. To uh, to make sure we get a performance in that gives us a possibility to uh, to pick up a result that uh, that we're looking for. And I think vaak uh, trainen jullie bij een Europese wedstrijd uh, gewoon eigenlijk in het stadion. Vandaag hebben jullie weer een stadion tour. Hebben jullie in Rotterdam getraind? Waarom die keuze? Toch omdat er nog wat twijfels waren van spelers die mee konden. No, no, it was purely tactical. Uh, normally, uh, leading up to to the other Champions League games, we had three days uh, from game to game, so we had an opportunity to train tactically in, in Rotterdam before flying out. And and this time, as you know, we played Saturday and, and we didn't have an opportunity until today to train uh, tactically for, for the game. And I think it's it's obvious uh, when you travel to Manchester City, then there's probably a few things, a few details you, you maybe want to adjust a little bit. Uh, we, we try to stay loyal to who we are and how we want to play. Um, but obviously there's some details in the, in the style of play from Man City you, you have to take uh, take care of. Dennis, ben je ook nieuwsgierig of misschien wel benieuwd naar hoe jouw ploeg, jouw spelers zich houden tegenover spelers van ja, echt wereldniveau? Um, Kun je het wel redelijk inschatten, toch? Yeah, I, I think I have a decent feeling of of our boys and 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 of the team. Um, obviously, this is a, a very big game, and, and and we talked about it already. It's 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 a world class uh, team. Um, but I think a lot of our boys are used to playing big games, uh, also with their national teams, etc. So, yeah, I think they're so focused when the game starts uh, that they're not looking at who they're going to play against, but they, they focus on the job they have to do. 
Um, and that's I think that's the best advice also I can give to these guys. Uh, yes, it's a big game and yes, it's a, a tough opponent. But at the end of the day, we are the most important uh, ones when the, when the ball is rolling. We have to do our job as an individual, but also as a, as a team. Then I know we, uh, we can do good things, but it has to be a maximum performance from, uh, from everybody. Werkt deze tegenstander een aanpassing van hoe jullie normaal gesproken ook tactisch spelen? Gaan we een ander Feyenoord zien in de line-up? I, I hope I hope you will not see a, a different Feyenoord, but uh, as I said, we we're all so realistic. I think if you if you look at the, the 10, 15, 20 last games um, Man City played, then they had possession around 60% to 80%. So normally it's the opposite for us that we we have the ball quite a lot in in Holland. Um, I don't expect us to, to go over here and, and be dominant on the ball and have more possession than, than Man City, but we'll definitely try to take our moments. We, we definitely want to play football. We definitely want to, to get our qualities out offensively, but, but yes, we need to adjust a bit uh, defensively. We need to be aware of some of the patterns that, uh, that Man City have and, and some of the individual qualities that the opponents have. Um, so we are well prepared. Van Benfica uit uh, waren de verwachtingen ook niet nou fijn. Het gaat hier even winnen. Dat is hier ook het geval. Kun je iets ook van, van die wedstrijd? Hoe het, hoe het plan toen hartstikke goed viel voor jullie richt, richting dit duel? Um, I'm not sure I understand the question correct. Nou, dat was ook, ook, ook een, een, een uitwedstrijd tegen een hele goede Europese mm -hmm. tegenstander die vaak domineert. Kun je iets met het strijdplan van toen? Want dat werkte voor jullie natuurlijk zo supergoed richting morgenavond. Well, there's, there's definitely some, some elements we can, we can take along from, from Benfica. As I said, we, we need to play with courage. When you play Champions League, you, you, you have to go and, and play with all your qualities. You, you have to put in courage in, in any situation. Um, we don't come here to defend um, the draw. We, we come here to play 90 minutes um, and also to score goals. But, uh, but obviously it starts with a defensive plan. It starts with a defensive work. And then from there on, you have to grow and you have to take your moments. And, and that's why I said the biggest challenge is probably to, to find the moment from taking the quick transitions and also to keep possession, because otherwise it, it can be a long night and, and you'll defend more than you, you probably want to. Ja, Brian, uh, Dennis begon over uh, Benfica. Die wedstrijd speelden jullie toen zij een fase hadden dat ze niks verloren. Hè? Al de wedstrijden wonnen zij. En dat uh, was het verwachtingspatroon natuurlijk laag. Nu is het andersom, hè? City verliest heel veel. Is het nou uiteindelijk een nadeel? Had je liever gehad dat ze een wat betere serie hadden gehad voordat jullie kwamen? Omdat de kans dat ze aan onderschatting doen is natuurlijk niet zo groot. Nee, no, I, I don't think they underestimate uh, anybody. Uh, it's Champions League. Pep knows it, the players knows it. Uh, that it's a good team that will come up at, at the Etihad Stadium. So I don't think they underestimate anybody. And, and whether they had five wins in a row or, or like now, it, I don't think it, it changes anything for us. It, we still, as I said, we still need to perform at a really, really top level. Um, it's, it's normal when you play here. The quality of these players is, is different class. And um, it is, as I said, up to us to try to get the game into our hands. Um, so we, so we have, an, uh, have an opportunity to, um, to hurt them also. I know we have offensive quality. We've proven that for sure, uh, as you said, in Benfica. So we can take away some elements from that, but it's also a really high level uh, at, at Man City that makes it a little bit more difficult for us. Is it a gek gevoel that they five keer niet winnen and that mensen nu inderdaad denken, nou ja, dan zou fijn het ook wel eens dat het de beste club van de wereld was, zeg je zelf, hè? De laatste tijd dat fijn het dan ook een kans heeft, terwijl die natuurlijk mathematisch best klein is. Yeah, but I think you know me already. I don't think much about what other people think. It's uh, if you guys think we have a chance or not, if supporters think we have a chance or not. I'd That's, that's up to you guys. I'm focused on preparing my team and preparing my boys, our boys, to, to perform. I know it's difficult. Uh, I hope you guys see the lineup also for them tomorrow and you will see it. it's quality players all over. Yeah. Uh, the manager is still the same. Uh, I don't think he changed uh, over the last uh, five games they played. It's, it's, it's world class. Right now they're in a phase where they, they struggle getting results. Uh, they think I think they played a lot of games in these five uh, losses that they had where they uh, should have gotten more points than they, than they did and that's why I said it, it doesn't change anything for us. We need to perform top, top level uh, to get a, a good, good result from, uh, from here. There's always a chance. Yeah. Exactly, there's always a chance. Yes, that kind of thing. Um, if it was a bit gek was gelopen, had you here maybe well uh, kunnen werken bij uh, Manchester City. 
die je zo terugdenkt, maakt het, maakt het nog wat bij je los dat je denkt van, hmm, misschien had ik er wel uh, moeten doen ofzo? Of? No, not really. It doesn't. It, uh, it doesn't change anything for me. Nee, nee, want ze vroegen je, je als uh, coach van de standaard situaties, hè? Toen, yeah. toen de tijd. Denk je dat juist in zo'n wedstrijd als morgen dat uh, dat onderdeel voor jullie belangrijker dan ooit zal zijn? I'm, I'm quite sure that, that Etienne has, has done his work and, and also we had a good, good session today. He said pieces for sure. Tomorrow can be one of the weapons uh, for us um, to break down the game a bit. Uh, hopefully also to be, uh, to be strong on our offensive uh, situation so we have an opportunity to create danger, uh, even score goals. Uh, and then we also know they, they got quality on the set pieces. So we, we definitely need to do our job uh, really well on the, on the set, set pieces. And then I'm, I'm, I'm hoping also from, from an offensive point of view that we will see some of the qualities from, from, uh, from our boys. Als je jullie uh, standaard situatie bekijkt dit seizoen, aanvallend en verdedigend, daar kan je wel tevreden over zijn, denk ik. Ja, yeah. no, there's no doubt. We, overall, we were quite happy with the, with the things that, that we're producing. Uh, offensively, we, we create the highest XG in, in the air division um, and quite dangerous on, on a lot of set pieces, different variations. And at the same time, we're also um, doing a, a, a decent job on the, on the defensive part. Um, so in that aspect, I'm, I'm quite pleased, but also I'm happy to, to listen to HN uh, a couple of times, pushing the boys and not being happy and, and always pushing them to, uh, to improve and, and do even better, which I, I know we can. We're, we're, we're capable of, of producing um, good chances on the set pieces when everybody's focused and everybody uh, is doing their job. And, and tomorrow, for sure, it is one of those games where you would like your set pieces to be uh, extra dangerous. Als laatste dan laat je dat dan helemaal los en laat je het aan uh, aan aan Reine of bemoei je jezelf ook nog uh, daarmee? No, we we have a really good cooperation. I I feel I have a good cooperation with with the whole technical staff where we discuss uh, different things and and Etchen is uh, is having a lot of freedom and responsibility but we always talk, we always discuss uh, different things uh, but at the end of the day I, I like to give away responsibility and and then of course if there's something that I really like I'll, I'll let them know that this is really good and, and if there's something that I would like to improve then of course it's also my job to tell them that maybe we could do something here and there but overall uh, we have a really good uh, cooperation and, and I think he's, he's doing a good job as, uh, as a young coach and, and hopefully for, for Holland he, he's one of them who will take even further uh, and bigger steps. Success. Thank you. Marcel, Thank you. Uh, hey. um, you've had a lot of Injuries, issues over the past few weeks, months. Players are coming back. Does that mean they can give you 100% energy? Are you convinced of that? That every player who you play has, has got that 100% energy to put into the team? Yes. When when it comes to energy and and uh, effort, then then I definitely expect it. Um, then I'm sure that you guys also know that that there's uh, a limit on some of them. Um, for example, Jimenez, who uh, who hasn't played minutes since uh, since his injury, you'll probably not see him in the lineup uh, tomorrow. Um, but but all of the guys that are here, they will definitely give the energy that we that we're looking for. Because um, the opposition have a lot of players, and there's a lot of um, well controversial talks about that, that Walker, De Bruyne, Gundogan, they don't have the legs anymore. So could that be uh, a perspective for your team? I think last time I checked, they, they still had two legs. Uh, so I think, you know what I mean. yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I think they're top quality players. Obviously, they, they've been struggling a little bit with, uh, with injuries. I know Kevin has been out for, um, for a period, but, uh, but also on his way back. Um, I'm quite sure that his legs are, are working really, really well. Um, I know for sure his brain is working really well. He, um, for me, is one of the best players in, in the world, still. Um, so, yeah, they, they got quality players, even though, as you said, they, they maybe struggle a bit or more than they, they've been used to. The last one, um, in England, there's a lot of talks about only in a Liverpool match. Can you understand that? As an opposition for them? About yeah, to be honest, I, I haven't checked what they what they talk about over here. Um, yeah, again, I, I don't care what what other people are discussing and what they're talking about and thinking about. Uh, I know for sure there's a game tomorrow. 
uh, which is important for for Feyenoord and, and for us. Uh, I'm quite sure also Pep and, and Man City is, is quite ready for, for this game tomorrow. Um, so that's that's my focus. I really don't listen to uh, to all the talks. I, I know there's a big game for sure in the Premier League uh, in the weekend, but yeah, tomorrow is, is, is the most important one and I'm quite sure that, uh, as I said already, Man City, they, they see the same. Oh, yeah, at the back, yeah. So, um, just uh, what you were saying about the quality of the, the City squad, some of the headlines in the UK have been about this being a crisis for City, but can it really be a crisis with a, a squad as, as good as they've got? Yeah, that's, that's, that's again your, your words and, and how you want to describe it. And, and crisis, uh, some thinks it's a, it's a big word and others less. I, I, I don't know, but it's, it's for sure probably the, the biggest challenge they had for, for some years uh, with, the, with the results. Because I think they played good football. Uh, I think they had good performances. Uh, in these uh, losses, uh, they they had uh, good minutes in in the games and good opportunities also to pick up other results than than what actually turned out. Uh, and I think as a coach, that's always what you look for. You look for performances uh, that are able to give you wins, and then sometimes uh, bad luck or wrong decisions from from players in certain moments uh, ends up with a loss. Um, and that's also why I said in the beginning, uh, if you look at the, at the Spurs game, uh, then it's it's quite even game when it comes to the data and the xG stuff like this. But they ended up losing in zero four. So there's some some moments in the games where you maybe maybe are able to um, to push uh, City at the moment. But uh, again, when it comes to us and 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 Feyenoord, then we know we have to peak everybody. We have to perform top perform uh, in in every situation in in the game because we know it can be crucial. So um, yeah, crisis or not, uh, yeah, that's that's up to you guys. But it's definitely a challenging situation for them. But they also have the quality to fix it.